Hello and welcome. Today we'll be going over the Nightcore Tiki 300. This was sent out to me by Nightcore for winning a contest they had on their Facebook page. Thank you very much for sending this out. This features an Ashram P8 LED emitter in the head here as the primary LED and two other auxiliary LEDs, a UV one and a high CRI LED. The UV is 365 nanometer wavelength and it runs on about 500 milliwatts output. The light itself is pretty small. It's about 2.16 inches in length and the diameter all together width and height is going to be 0.57 inches. The weight's about 0.42 ounces, 0.42 ounces, and it has an IP66 waterproof rating and an impacts resistance rating of about one meter. Let's start with the modes here. We double click to access the main LED at one lumen for about 40 hours or so. Push the button once and you'll cycle through the UI to low mode at about 15 lumens for around four hours. And then we have medium mode at 60 lumens for around one hour. And then we have 300 lumens for about 30 minutes. And then it cycles back to low mode. There's no memory mode on this light, so it'll always come back in the lowest mode. Let's turn it off, you hold it down. To access the momentary 300 lumen on, you simply hold down the button and it'll turn on and then release and it'll turn off. To access the special LEDs, you'll have to triple click here. And we have the UV 500 milliwatt, 365 nanometer LED, which runs for about 45 minutes. To cycle through, you push once. And we have the high CRI at about one hour and 30 minutes for 22 lumens. And then we have the flash, which is also 22 lumens, but it runs for a little bit less than 20 hours. And then to cycle back through, you simply push again. And to turn off, we hold it down. Now we're going to go ahead and get some beam shots of the light here and see what it looks like in the dark. Okay, we're back shooting an aperture at 7.1, 24 frames per second at an ISO of 1250 with a temperature balance of 5000 Kelvin on a Panasonic GH2. We have the low mode engaged here at 1 lumen, the ultra low mode. Now we're into low mode at 15 lumens, medium at 60, and then high at 300. Then we cycle back to a one lumen on ultra low. We'll shoot it from the top here next to the lens at about two feet off the table. This is low mode at 15 lumens. Medium at 60 lumens. And finally, high at 300 lumens. Let's go ahead and engage the auxiliary LEDs. We have the UV. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the table that's too responsive to the 365 nanometer wavelength. As part of the artwork there. And we have the high CRI. And we'll hold this up about next to the lens and then back down. So you can kind of see the temperature difference with the color of the LED, which is kind of nice. The colors are popping out here on the mat. And then we'll engage the flash mode. And finally back to UV mode. Some final thoughts on the Tiki 300. Overall, I think it's a great light for its price, which is about $20, and its size and what it does. It offers three different types of LEDs inside, and it has a wide variety of useful LEDs at that. It's a small form factor, it's a lightweight, light enough to go on your keychain. They've included this little hook and ring, which is nice to put onto your keychain. Uh, it's very lightweight. I do like my button UIs better than my twist UIs or my twist activation switches. Uh, not really much to say here in terms of like improvement or other uh, ideas other than the typical things that I say about lights of this size, which is I like to see a user replaceable 10180 battery system in the light and a USB-C 
port instead of a micro USB port here in the back. Other than that, I think the light is fantastic for its size and what it does based on its size and the price range. So I'd highly recommend this to anybody looking for a small keychain gift, Christmas gift, holiday gift, birthday gift, whatever. Uh, it's great for camping outdoors as an emergency light or primary light to use. And uh, I can't say enough great things about this little light here. So ch definitely check them out. And once again, thanks to Nightcore for sending this to me in the contest. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.